about today's show. We thought it would be good to do a show on the circus. We even have a juggler coming in who will teach us and the kids at home how to juggle. How much fun. Oh, and uh, good for coordination, too. <laughs> I, I don't have any. Uh, do you have any uh, music videos about the circus prepared? Sure do. Want to see them? Oh, boy, would I. Oh, I went down south for to see Marcel play Polly Roll to do all the day. My Sally is a spunky gal, play Polly Rolly Doodle all the day. Oh, Miss Al, she is a maiden fair, play Polly Rolly Doodle all the day. With laughing eyes and curly hair, play Polly Rolly Doodle all the day. Tiger has so many stripes, such big teeth and claws. The tamer's in there by himself, he's not afraid of those jaws. He's always in command. He's the lion tamer. This circus poster is really neat. Yeah, it looks really old. You know, circuses have been around since the late 18th century. Wow, that's almost 200 years. Okay, guys, it's showtime. We're on the air in five, four, three. Roll the opening title. Rolling, two, one, and take it. Stand by to cue the host and cue them. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV Show. The one and only show made by kids. For kids. And starring kids. Hi, I'm Alexander Paul. And I'm Christian Wonder Ventura. And I'm Billy Biggle. Hey guys, I was wondering, why you say the same thing at the beginning of each show? Because that's our motto. What's a motto? It's a phrase that explains what you're about. And we are about kids. And Biggle. And music. So let's get this show started with our first song of the day. The Chicky Chicky Beat. Hey there, Professor, you're a real cool cat. You got a lot of this and a lot of that. We all think that you're really neat. So come on down and do the Chicky Chicky Beat. Hands up, Chicky Chicky. Chicky Chicky. Hands down, Chicky Chicky. Chicky Chicky. Bamboo, Chicky Chicky. Chicky Chicky. Spin around, Chicky Chicky. Chicky Chicky. Chicky, 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 chicky
set with things from the circus. Oh, great! I love the circus. Can I help? We'd love for you to help. Can you get big and hang those balloons up for us? Sure thing! How's this? Perfect. Thanks, Billy. Anytime! Christian, Alexandra, we're coming to you in five, four, three, two. Let's go to the circus. Now? Yes. But what about the show? We'll take it with us. How are we going to do that? Through the magic of television. When the Kid Song's kids went to the circus, they got in on the act. The clown act? Yes. Here they are, ready to clown around in... Put on a happy face. <laughs> is one of the oldest jobs ever? I had no idea. Who told you that? Chris discovered it in a book. It says that kings and queens and rulers all over the world had people whose job was to make them laugh. They were called court jesters. What a great idea. We should have our own jester here in the control room. How about me? I'll be your court jester. <laughs> uh, guys, the clip is ending. <laughs> we're coming to the host in five, four, three, two, and cue him. Our next video is called The Ringmaster. As you kids at home probably know, the ringmaster is the man or woman who runs the circus show. Kind of like the host, like us. Circuses all over have ringmasters. In France, they are called Le Piste. And in Italy, Direttore di Circo. And in Russia, Stuhlmeister, which actually is a German word. But right now, we're going to an American circus where we will see Chris Finch, a ringmaster in training. Nobody can do a better job. 
What's with the hat and that thing? I've decided to be the show's jester today. I want to make you guys laugh. You're all working so hard. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Billy. We do love laughing. And cue. This next song features the king of beasts and the mighty, the majestic, the marvelous man who tames them, the lion tamer. The lion is the king of beasts. Look at how proud he stands. So rough and tough when the lion roars. You hear it across the land. I'm so scared because they're so big. Look at those giant teeth. Juggle? Just a little. I've tried it with tennis balls, and I could do it for about two minutes, and then I mess up. Same for me, but it'd be fun to learn how. Maybe we'll pick up some pointers from Chip Lowe when he comes in. I can juggle. You can? Yep, I'm really good at it. I'll show you after the show. Cool. Strong's cute. <laughs> hey guys, where does an elephant sit when it goes to the movies? Where? I don't know. Anywhere it wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the host. And it's back to the circus. Our next song is about a baby elephant and its mommy. And one incredibly lucky kid song's kid who got to ride the elephant. And he didn't just ride it. He let the elephant lift him up with his tusk. For real. No tricks. So let's check out Mommy and Baby Elephant as they go strolling through the park one day. While we're on the subject of elephants, how can you tell if one has been in your refrigerator? How? By the footprint in your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> about juggling for my intro to Chip Lowell. Let's see. In this book, it says that in ancient China, they used to juggle big boxes with their feet. How did they do that? And look, here's the picture of the Chinese circus today. Wow, they still do it. Wow, that means they've been doing it for thousands of years. And look, in Fiji, warriors juggle fire. Gosh, this is exciting. Intro to Polly. In five, four, three, two. In our next video, Kid Song's kids get a private juggling demonstration.
backstage at the circus. These clowns are really good jugglers, which reminds me, right after this clip, we'll be bringing out Chip Lowell, who will dazzle us with his juggling skills. Oh, I went down south for a see my Sally play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. My Sally is a spunky gal, play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, Miss Al, she is a maiden fair, play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. With laughing eyes and curly hair, play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. From home, Louisiana, for a see my Susiana play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, a grasshopper sitting on the railroad track Played Polly Wally Doodle all the day A pick in his teeth with a carpet tack Played Polly Wally Doodle all the day Oh, I went to bed but it wasn't no use Played Polly Wally Doodle all the day My feet stuck out for a chicken roost Played Polly Wally Doodle all the day Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well my fairy fair for I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie and play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Do you ski so hard with the hooping cock play Polly Wally Doodle all the day? He sneezed his head and his tail right off play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie and play Polly Wally Doodle all the day. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie and play Okay, we got the question time graphic keyed and ready to play. Good, roll it. Three, two, one, and take it. We are pleased that today's guest, Chip Lowell, is going to give us a juggling lesson right here in the studio. Right now on Question Time with Janet Bates. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Alexander. Let's welcome juggler extraordinaire, Chip Lowell. Good morning, Chip. Hey, good morning, Janet. How you doing? How are, good. <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. And you? Good. Good. Is it true that you were born in the circus? Yep, that's the truth. I was born in the circus, and I stayed with circuses till I was about, oh, 15, 16 years old. Did your parents work for the circus? Uh, absolutely. My dad was a clown, and my mom was an aerialist up on the trapeze and things, and she also did an act that uh, she hung by her teeth. How old were you when you performed? Uh, let's see, the first time I performed was, was about six years old, and my job was to do this, and just point to people as they did tricks, because I couldn't do any tricks at that time. And then when I was about 10 years old, I started clowning and also doing some juggling. Do you enjoy being a juggler? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You get to uh, juggle all types of things. Uh, it's sort of a challenge, like, uh, like the juggling clubs. Just a minute. I think that's for you. <laughs> no, it's not. Wrong number. <laughs> what advice do you have for the kids that want to be jugglers? Well, number one, lots of practice. Lots of practice. And then when you think you, you've done enough, more practice. Because even I will drop every so often. What other things can you juggle? Well, you can pretty much juggle anything. You know, not only balls or clubs. Uh, things you may find around the house. Uh, one of my favorite things to juggle is a hat. What we call hat manipulations. A lot of creative things that you can do. Ah, thank you. Can you teach me how to juggle? Sure. You know, one of the easiest ways to start out is with juggling scarves. So if you want to start out with these, it's a lot easier to find the juggling pattern. Throwing one up this way, one up this way, and then when they fall down, you catch them in your hands. One, two, catch, catch. See? Why don't you give it a try with one? Throw it up in the air and back down. You see how much time you have? I tell you what, we're going to go right on to two. Okay. Going to throw them up. One, two, catch, catch. That's it. One, two, catch, catch. Wow! That's great. I did it. Yeah, and one of the neat things you can do then is go on to three. And that's where the juggling pattern starts really showing up, sort of a figure eight pattern. 
And if you don't have scarves at home, you can certainly use rolled up socks because they won't uh, bounce or roll away from you. Practice right over your bed so you don't have to bend over and hurt your back. But that's probably one of the easiest ways to learn. Can you do something else for us? Sure. Uh, you know what? Why don't you hold on to those four boxes for me? Okay, I'll take these boxes. Hop. Alrighty. Okay, your turn. No, you're doing great. Let me put this one up here on top. Alrighty, let me straighten them out just a little bit. Your job, Janet, is to very carefully hand me those boxes. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Put this one up here, just like that. Next box, if you would, please. Wonderful. There we go. All right, box number 12. Thank you. This is 13. I'm kidding. You're doing great. All right, here we go. Last and final box. Very carefully, if you would, please. All righty. Thank you, Janet. Take a bow. <laughs> Very good. Here we go. The balance on the chin. Watch close. Hey, hop. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. And a pleasure. And a pleasure. <laughs> okay, gang, let's practice. I think we better keep working on this. Hmm, not quite as easy as it looks. You can say that again. Well, I won't. Maybe this next song will inspire us to stick with it till we're good at it. Is it, you know you could do it? Sure is. Billy, why are you in here? I thought as your personal jester, I should tell you a joke before I go on. Okay, tell me a joke. What kind of dinosaurs eat burritos? I don't know, what kind? Tyrannosaurus Mac! <laughs> <laughs> and now, in court jester tradition, I will lead you in a very simple song and fun dance that should make you giggle. Cue the host. And now it's time for our own little clown, the one and only... Billy Biggle to lead us in our daily sing-along. The Hokey Pokey. Okay, kids. Now when the song says, put your right foot in and take your right foot out, we're going to go like this. And when it says, and you shake it all about, we're going to shake like this. And when the song says, you do the Hokey Pokey and you turn yourself around, that's what it's all about. We're going to do this. Got it? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Follow me. You put your right foot in, you take your right foot out. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey.
You put your right hand in, you take your right hand out. You put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left hand in, you take your left hand out. You put your left hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that was fun. What's next? Time to wrap it up. Yeah, we know. You've got to get to baseball, baseball practice. practice. Cue the host. Well, that's all we have time for today on the Kids Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And big O. See ya! See ya! Bye! Was I funny enough? Did I make you laugh? Am I a good court jester? You are adorable. But, Billy, you don't have to make us laugh to be our friend. I don't? No. Billy, you put us in a good mood just by being you. We love you just the way you are. Oh, I'm so relieved. Woo! Hey, guys, I got another great joke for you. Why did the little boy sprinkle sugar in his pillow? I don't know. Why? Because he wanted to have sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you, friend, the time we need.